Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video. So, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the OU Pressure Switch. This is specifically for the Toyota Yaris, Vios, Delta, and any other vehicles that has the 1NZ motor. All that would be in the description. So, part number is 83530-60020. So, all you're going to need, it doesn't matter if you got the stock intake manifold or the aftermarket like I do, taking it off is the same exact way. So, all you're going to need is... 12 mil socket. You're gonna need some CRC soft lock. It's a alternative to the Toyota one. The Toyota version of this is 70 to 80 bucks. And this one was only 30 bucks. So I got this. It's equivalent to the Toyota, just cheaper. Um flathead, you got a aftermarket intake too. And you're also gonna need a 516. Or a 20, I believe it's 24 millimeter, 24 mil um, socket. If it's wrong, everything will be in the description. So, what I'm gonna do first is unhook all the hoses, take off the intake manifold, and take off the intake. Also, gonna disconnect the PCV, I mean, not PCV, my cell phone sensor. I'm also going to disconnect the throttle body. Now that that's out the way, you want to proceed to removing the two nuts on the outer edges so the intake manifold doesn't, once again, it doesn't matter if you got the stock or the market, it's the same. So you're going to need a 12 mil. Yeah. Alright, so now we got the intake manifold out the way. This is the oil pressure switch. So it's a little tab right here where my finger is. Let's push down, pull out. Now we want to get this wire out the way and then get your socket. Go on, take it out. That's so. So. I don't think the camera got that. Hold on. Well, I'm not sure the camera got that or not. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut the very first tip off, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the very first um divider cut off so it's at least a little hole that way i could control what's coming out so now it's a new oil pressure switch and you want to apply this to the last three threads and what i mean is as you can see here last three threads is what seals it so you're gonna squeeze it Uh, so once you got it on, you want to make sure nothing goes near this. Otherwise, you mess up the whole sensor. So now we're going to put it in. Hand tighten it. And then we're going to torque it down to 8 foot pounds. So I'm going to set up my torque wrench and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got my torque wrench set up to 11 foot pounds. That's the correct one for this sensor. I don't know where I got the um, 8 from. Eight is for a different sensor. So this click is something here. It's saying that it's torqued down. So let me do it again. That way I can pick it up. So now 
reconnect your oil pressure switch and then put your intake everything back on and you don't want to fill the engine back up with oil or start the car until two hours that way the soft lock could fully cure you don't want to expose it to any oil until after two hours so start your car so that's how you replace your oil um pressure switch stay tuned and i'll see you on the next one peace